Hi Church, my name is Sarah Snelson and um, I'm part of the core team at our North location. It's great to be with you this morning or this afternoon or whenever you are watching this devotional. So I've just been asked to uh, share some verses that um, just really speak to me. And um, so I've chosen some from Psalm 16 and it's verses 5 to 6. And I'm going to use the Passion Translation. Lord, I have chosen you alone as my inheritance. You are my prize, my pleasure and my portion. I leave my destiny and its timing in your hands. Your pleasant path leads me to pleasant places. I'm overwhelmed by the privileges that come with following you, for you have given me the best. Oh, I just love these verses. It just oh, really feeds my soul. Um, and I don't know about you, but I really want to be on that pleasant path, leading to pleasant places, uh, whatever my circumstances are, whatever's going on around me, um, just to know that uh, I am just continuously walking on that path and uh, and going where God uh, wants me to go, has for me to go, and um, and that will only ever lead to the best of what he has for us. And I've just got a couple of like about three points from that just to kind of help us with this, how to, to be on that pleasant path, how to stay on that pleasant path, path <laughs> and how to get to those pleasant places. And it's a choice. Uh, the passage begins with, I have chosen. And it's a choice. It's a choice that we make daily again and again and again to stay on that path to stay focused on Jesus, to know that um, that God has it all in his hand and, um, and that we go where he leads. And it's God alone that we need to see as our prize. He is our inheritance. He's our final destination. And, um, and we need to stay focused on him. He's our portion, which is exactly what we need in life. It's not about how big our house is, about what possessions we have, how many exotic holidays we go on, or what we have in the bank. It is about him being our portion, him being all that we need. And when we focus on him, he gives us all that we need. He gives us all of the material things that we need when we stay focused on him and obedient to him. And we need to trust him for our future. It's his timing in all things. We need to step back from our frustrations and our impatience, which we all have at times. And we need to know that God is in control. And it's when we do this, when we're naturally walking along God's pleasant path, that um, it's not always easy, not at all, but the view is breathtaking. And it leads us to all the pleasant places where we can only receive the best that he has for us. And I just imagine it as this beautiful, enchanting path leading me to this amazing clearing that has the most amazing views, the most amazing smells and just the softest grass just to relax and breathe it all in. And when we're in this present place, when we're in that pleasant, pleasant place, when all is well with our soul, well, that's when we're in a place of strength. We're not consumed by our own difficulties, but we're actually able to stand in the gap for others. We're able to be that calm in other people's storms. And we're able to visibly demonstrate the peace that only God can give. And that helps to point people towards Jesus, which is what we're about. We're about building church. We're about helping people to see truly who God is and how that they can just accept his son and be on that pleasant path leading to pleasant places. So church, I just want to pray briefly. God, we just thank you that we are on that pleasant path, that as we make those daily choices, that is the path we're on, and you take us to those amazing, amazing places. God, help us to always show your peace, to show your calm, to show that we trust in you completely, Lord, and that you will take us for, uh, on this journey to the places that you have for us. And God, that we just gather people along the way. We gather people more and more and more people, Lord, just pointing them towards you. We thank you, God, for every opportunity you give us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, church, I hope you have an amazing, amazing day and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.